The first round of proposed balance changes Frontier mentioned earlier this week have just been announced on the games official forums and we're going to break them down for you right now. If you enjoy this video remember to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications and if you'd like to support our work you'll also find us on Patreon. Links to everything you need are in the description below. In the announcement FDev have clarified that, as expected, the first round of balancing will affect mining rewards before moving on to combat but they are also now talking about looking at trade, exploration and other mission rewards as part of this ongoing process. So what's changing? Early next week the following changes will be introduced. The approximate maximum prices for the following commodities will be set. Pay night 600,000 credits Low temperature diamonds 700,000 credits and void opals 1,300,000 credits. To put this into perspective at the time of recording the internet is telling me that the highest prices for those 3 commodities right now are Pay night 958,000, low temperature diamonds 785,000 and void opals 1,400,000. Whilst there's clearly some nerf swinging going on there it's not utterly catastrophic with Pay Night taking the bulk of the wallop but that's not the whole story. Together with these changes commodity markets will now offer the average price of any commodity rather than the lowest price of a commodity when selling in bulk meaning that the prices obtained for selling anything in bulk including your mined commodities should generally increase somewhat overall. In order to appropriately reward the extra effort required to extract commodities from asteroid cores the prices for commodities extracted that way except void opals will also be increased. Furthermore several mining commodities which can be purchased from markets will have the range of their prices increased resulting in a greater variety of goods with strong profit margins in the 25,000 credit range when system states are favourable. Overall we'll need to see how this balances out although we don't feel here that it's quite the mining apocalypse that some were expecting. And don't forget it's an ongoing process so these figures could well change in any direction going forward if FDev don't see what they expect to see in the numbers. It's also likely to put the straightforward trading of goods in bulk in a better healthier place as well. The really interesting stuff will be around the changes to combat payouts and how Frontier see that changing and hopefully we'll know more on that front in a week or so. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then ….o7 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.